Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. Time to shed the light on Navy baseball. Mids with an extremely busy week for Michael Karitz and his teammates. Obviously, the, the big news this week is they're going to turn some lights on uh, here at, at Max Bishop Stadium. Now, I, I know you played in the WCAC. It's not the first time you have played under the lights. Yeah. But uh, is there some excitement for the fact that you guys are now going to have a lighted facility and it gives you all even that much more flexibility now in terms of scheduling baseball games? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, one of my favorite things to do is, is play under the lights. I, I'm, like you said, I remember in high school, it was a, it's an amazing, amazing experience anytime you can play under the lights. And, you know, we've been talking about it for a few years. You know, when are we going to get lights? Are we getting them this year? And, you know, it finally came to fruition this year. And, yeah, we're excited, um, especially get one game this, uh, this two, or tomorrow mm -hmm. under the lights, get a little practice for the big one this weekend against Army. So we're looking, we're looking forward to it. Obviously, for you, let's backpedal a little bit. I mean, it doesn't come much tougher than the WCAC against my man, the Gibbs, and Andy Lohman, and all those guys over at St. John's, my man, Sean O'Connor over at DeMatha, and you guys out there at Paul the Sixth. How much did that prepare you, though, obviously, for the rigors of what Division One baseball has become on a team that consistently wins 30 games? I just think the highly competitive nature um, just of the WC in itself definitely prepared me for, for college baseball. Uh, we, we play a bunch more games than most high schools do. So I think that in itself prepared me for, you know, a longer, longer college season. Um, and just, like I said, like the high level of, of play in high school, um, it, it's a whole lot of fun. And I, I miss those days. Those are, those are great playing days. And, you know, I remember, you know, playing St. John's in a weekend kind of brings the same atmosphere as like playing an Army, same uh, caliber team comparatively in high school and college, but it's, it's, it's an awesome experience. We're excited. I was going to say, too, I imagine the WCAC tournament, too, is, I mean, you know, you're talking about the best of the best on a weekend. I mean, that's, that's you know, that's got to be as tough as it gets in terms of competition and pressure, which, and you, I thought you brought up a good point that maybe doesn't get necessarily recognized. A college season is a whole lot longer. Did, did you notice that, though, the, the first year here about how much longer this really is and obviously how much more work it means practice-wise and everything uh, to get through a schedule like this? Right, yeah, it, it, is, a, it is a bunch longer. Um, definitely takes a toll on the body. Uh, being able to – that's the biggest thing is keeping your body in shape um, throughout that long period of time. And, yeah, the weekends, the, the competition in high school, it, 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 it was St. John's and with the math, uh, Gonzaga even, um, it's, 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 it's awesome. Uh, it was tough. We didn't do as well as we wanted to in high school, um, but and you know we're we didn't do as well as we wanted to last year. We're looking to turn that around this year, um, get to get to a regional this year. Um, this can, this weekend I think is really going to be a testament to that. Um, playing Army, they're they're the team to beat. So go after go after this weekend, looking for a few big wins. I was going to say for you guys so far, it's the tougher part, the journey to get to the top of the standings where you are right now, in control of your own destiny or the challenge to stay there, knowing that every time you all show up, whether it's here or at somebody's field, that you guys are the marked team once you get to that top spot the way you all have. Right, right. Winning, winning the regular season is big. You know, it gives you that one seed, gives you that home field advantage. Um, we've been lucky enough to do that a bunch in the past few years. But you know, the ultimate goal is, is, is winning, the, winning the tournament at the end of the year, um, getting, getting to that regional. That's, that's the ultimate goal, and that's what we're really, really striving for this year. Obviously, for you this past weekend, six hits in the series uh, against Lee. I want to backtrack for a moment. What is it like to play in a game that's like 24-13 like you all had uh, up mm -hmm. at Lafayette? What is, what is that kind of game like where it just seems like everybody is right. raking at some point? Yeah, that's a, that's a game where it comes down to the mental, mental side of things. You know, it's, it's a game that you got to consistently score. Um, the first inning to the last inning, you never know. You know, the wind's blowing out. You never know when they're going to get a walk, maybe a hit and a home run, bring themselves right back into the game. Just a mental grind, really, just to stay in it all the way through and make sure that you're, you're on the winning side of things. So, At the same time, what is it like to play behind Noah Song? Well, I don't really play too much behind him. He doesn't give me too many ground balls. Right. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's incredible watching him perform um, the way he has this year. Uh, me and Zach, uh, we, we, love, we love watching him. It, it's honestly incredible. Um, to see what he's done this year, and, and we're hoping, I'm sure we'll get a quality start out of him this weekend. We're looking forward to it. He, he's a huge confidence booster for us. You know, we, we know he's going to give us a quality start when he's out there. Um, the key is really just being able to support him 
uh, with the bats. That's that's the big thing. I was going to say too because and more often than not, you're going up against the other team's number one right. starter right. Uh, in those cases. And you mentioned, look, I mean, the competition in the last couple of years, especially between you guys, Army, Holy Cross, been top notch. I mean, it really has. And little things make that difference. What has it been in for this team right now that has allowed you all to put yourself at least in position now? to control your destiny and potentially finish with that top seed? I think the biggest thing is, has been the, the best, our best games we play is when we're, we're mixing you know, the pitching game with the hitting game. We've, we've had a, a bunch of ups and downs where we've just had pitching. We've been lacking the bats or we've, um, you know, we, we've been lacking the pitching. We've had the bats. And putting them together, those are our best games. And, and, and when we do that, we're, we're a pretty dangerous team. Um, and you know, Army, Army's as well, a dangerous hitting team. They, they, pitch, they pitch well. Um, I, I think it, this weekend's really just going to come down to who can who can do both for the longest amount of time. So it's cool to be a local guy and be able to play kind of close to home where folks can come see you whenever whenever they want to. Absolutely, that, I think that's huge for me. You know, I live in only only about an hour away, so my my family is very supportive. Um, they're up here as much as they can. You know, I've got two younger siblings. One, my sister plays soccer up at Columbia, so they try and go see her when she's in season. And my younger brother is uh, playing baseball at PVI as well mm -hmm. right now. So uh, we're a pretty active family, but they're they're extremely supportive. I, I love being close to home. That was one of the one of the big pulls, um, as well as you know this place being an incredible institution and, and baseball being good and academics and, and the military and but yeah, being close to home was definitely a, a key factor. So I, I, I love I'm, I'm a hometown kind of kid, mama's boy. So man, you and your sister put some pressure on your brother, Columbia and the Naval <laughs> Academy. My He's, goodness. Uh, well. Yeah, I don't know. He's actually on, on paper. He's the smartest one out of the three of us. So we're he's he's got a really bright future ahead of him as well. We're not he, we're not too worried about it. He he's not too sure what he what he wants to do yet, but we know he's going to be doing some great things. So yeah. who knows? Maybe he'll be like at MIT and be some kind of mad scientist or something. Maybe one who day. knows? Congratulations to all of you. Continued success. Best of luck with a really busy week with thank you. so much activity this week to you and your teammates. Absolutely. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right, Michael Caritz joining us here on the Navy Sports Magazine.